U.S. stocks climbed today. Today is Wednesday, of course, in response to a flurry of overnight tweets from the president. Uh, Trump promised to draft legislation uh, that would be independent of the Democrats. Uh, with the goal of getting the uh, economic aid back on the table that individuals are uh, ideally pushing for, um, including talk of another round of $1,200 stimulus checks, which we've heard so much about. Um, billions of dollars in bailouts to small and large airlines and, uh, well, airlines, let's talk about it, and smaller businesses. Uh, but the Bitcoin and crypto markets are largely flat today. Uh, DeFi tokens particularly uh, battered uh, so so far to date. Uh, some are going as far as calling the DeFi party over. But still, Bitcoin is showing strength um, in the face of massive sell walls that are above its current $10,000 range. Uh, so, uh, the question, which way is the market going to break? Let's find out in today's episode of Breaking Bitcoin. I click the button. This is Enzo from OKEX, and you're watching Breaking Bitcoin. Yeah. All right, so should be good. Okay, we don't have the uh, we don't have the music on the scene. That's good. I was worried because I have the music coming in this year. All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Breaking Bitcoin. Of course, coming to you with the hotel Wi-Fi for the last night, uh, for the last time. We will be in a different location with different Wi-Fi that I have been assured is quite fast, and I can direct Ethernet connect the computer to it, so it's going to be nice. Uh, today is, of course, Wednesday, October 7th, 2020. Beautiful year. It's a fantastic time, ideally, to be enjoying profits from the bull run of 2020 and taking stock of our trading account, and that's what we're doing. Uh, that is the kind of end of Q4, or excuse me, end of 2020 Q4 goal, is take account, take stock, be prepared for the next significant movement in the markets. Uh, uh, which, when significant movements happen in cryptocurrency, I don't know if you've noticed this, but they tend to be fairly significant. So, with that being said, I want to say hello to everybody in the chat. Good to see you guys. Uh, we've got MDP. Thank you so much for supporting us over there with a YouTube membership, my friend. Uh, we've got... Woo! I gotta, I gotta lean in because the laptop's all the way over here. We've got uh, Gene Remy Osorio. We've got Crypto Jack as well. As always, thank you, my friend. Brett Flowers holding down the Iowa. David Rice... Let's see here. Asriel. All right. Sanic 2 Fest. Saintsy. I saw Rhino TD earlier. Look, Chewy. Good to see you, my friend. All right. If I missed anybody, it's only because as we move into Q4, individuals in crypto drop off. So much, much thanks, guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, the stream, everything that you guys do. Uh, let's kind of hop into it. I want to look at the charts. Give you guys an update on Bitcoin today. All right. Woo, that music too loud. i sorry if I blew any of your speakers. All right. There we go. I didn't put my daughter in the cage behind me, did I? No, but uh, uh, it's going to be a, a brief show today. We did. I did take a few precautions to keep her occupied. Uh, she's over there playing with uh, playing with her toys. So uh, as long as her dolls and what is she doing? Uh, looks like she's doing tea time. As long as tea time <laughs> goes uninterrupted and it is interesting, we can have a pretty productive show. All right. So uh, let's see. Things we're going to talk about today uh, are going to be. Let's slide down here. Actually, sorry, it's going to be this tab for me so I can keep up to date. Uh, we're going to be talking about, you know, is the DeFi party over uh, with DeFi tokens just continuing to bleed out? Uh, altcoin portfolios continuing. <clears throat> <clears throat> altcoin portfolios continuing to bleed out, uh, which is very reminiscent as I've been talking about, you know, uh, at the end of, uh, excuse me, toward the really the actual Q2 of 2018 uh, and certainly moving forward throughout the rest of 2018 and then toward the you know end of Q3 2019 you know this is a pattern that we've seen over and over again and those who are new to the cryptocurrency markets uh, and really just don't have the experience or the time in um, really haven't learned you know patience and, and opportunity uh, you know I think it's very easy for them to uh, as I've said many times, kind of mischaracterize or just put their energy into the wrong place, like focusing like, okay, is the market going to turn around here, here, here? You know, they're focused on the daily, they're focused on the four hour, when really what they should be focused on is like the weekly and looking at the overall kind of larger cycles. But again, that's why we're here. We are all in this together. Uh, BZRX chart? Absolutely, my friend. Uh, late day? Yes, yes. Um, it, we just needed to take a nap, guys. We just needed to take a nap. You know, we are 
we're mobile. We're moving around, guys. Okay, so, uh, and I think that's, uh, you know, uh, Bitcoin Maestro, that's one of the best things that I've learned from him. Be mobile, stay in motion, figure out multiple sources of income, figure out how to get away from the traditional system, guys. Get away from the traditional system. Uh, it is not a bad lifestyle uh, to be able to uh, travel around, uh, you know, with, with, with your family and, you know, just uh, do what you do from wherever you go, right? All right, so let's look at this chart here. There we go. Wanted to do this on Bitcoin. Uh, let's pull up the hourly. And again, I'm sorry if the connection isn't super great. It shouldn't be not too bad tomorrow. Uh, let's take the indies off uh, and just see what we have going on. All right. Uh, so uh, Bitcoin over the last uh, little bit um, since we talked, not really so much has changed yesterday. It's just continued this kind of uh, push ascension up after, after this last dip to the downside. Uh, we have not retraced. Uh, actually, I'd say we've done, yeah, about 50% retracement of this previous uh, movement to the downside, which was a lower high here on these lower structures. So again, uh, do I see a push down to about 10,690, or excuse me, 10,590? Uh, perhaps this is, not, this is not an area where I have a setup in, again, still holding my hedge from 11.2. Uh, you know, it's actually, you know, I'm, try, I'm trying to average it out. Uh, I can pull the, the exact number up, but um, that's just the pretty much the simplest trade that I have on the table. And as I said yesterday, as I said, uh, let's see, yesterday, Monday, and as I said, of course, moving into the end of last week and in this quarter of the weekend, you know, this was not, an, this is this is an area where I would expect price to largely push up. So looking at kind of price action today, uh, where would I be speculating on price today? I mean, overall, this does seem like the short-term trend or the daily trend or the intraday trend is to the upside. Uh, you know, again, after this wick to the upside and this red uh, rating candle, uh, I would expect to see either price push down and form a higher low would be pretty indicative, pretty normal to see here. Uh, holding that 10, let's just call it $10,600 as support uh, if this area does not fail. So that would be the opportunity that I would be looking for. Uh, if I had to put a position in the market right now, I would likely short this um, on a correction and then attempt to long uh, the swing to the upside. But I don't know if you've noticed this, uh, doing my best to trade with a uh, with a two uh, and a three quarter around, uh, slightly difficult sometimes especially when we're not on the home front. What's the matter, babe? Oh, you're doing fantastic. All right, well, you just pick a different game, sweetheart. The world is your oyster. You know, I think I'm going to, just give me one sec here, to actually get rid of this kind of opaque thing that I did on me. Whoop, and bring myself back into the limelight. Well, you just pick something else then, sweetheart. All right, cool. All right, uh, so that's uh, in the daily. Let's uh, let's use, uh, you know, we've been using fibs lately. Uh, they are a fairly decent tool in the face of anything else. And then we'll take a look at something perhaps a little bit more interesting. Uh, so we've got this latest swing. And then of course the most recent swing right here. Uh, so, you know, about that 10,626 to 10,614 would not be the bad kind of scalp entry. About, ooh, that was a rectangle. Good, that's what we want. right here uh, with kind of that more significant support, of course, that 10,600 all the way down to about 10,580. Below 10,580, uh, then we've really kind of broken local range. Um, of course, not really local range, but then we're out of that pattern of higher highs and higher lows, uh, which is what we've seen over, let's just call it the past about two days uh, with the exclusion of the uh, kind of the early dump here. Anyways, certainly during the noon hour. So um, so relatively simple here on Bitcoin. Let's keep that in the big picture of what's going on though. Of course, so that's what we're going to be looking at intraday potentially, but let's keep that in the big picture here. Now uh, going over to the weekly chart. All right, taking everything off here, of course. What do we have here? We have weak sideways consolidation here on the weekly. Very tight dojis. What often follows dojis? Well, what does follow dojis, guys? Not dojis, right? Big candles follow dojis, right? Just this is this is just simply how the market works. Uh, periods of low volatility and periods of low momentum lead to periods of high momentum, right? Contraction and expansion. So uh, again, you guys know where my uh, docket is here. I certainly am expecting expansion here to the downside. Um, that is also uh, congruent with the fundamental factors that I've talked about ad nauseum over the last um, two months, <laughs> two and a half months. Uh, but again, uh, a secondary, or excuse me, a movement though, kind of a fake out up to about, 
let's say the logical area here would be 11,600. Um, I would probably have, I would be forced to begin putting on, what's up, babe? You press the button, honey, you just click the different buttons. Like swipe up from the bottom, from the bottom, and then press the back button a couple times. Try that. Uh, you know, again, uh, moving up to 11,600 would not be crazy. But again, uh, if we do start pushing up above that, then I'm not going to drop my hedge, as I said. Uh, but I will uh, take advantage of those swings to the upside by putting on some uh, uh, alternative, excuse me, by placing a position to the upside, right? Uh, I'll probably end up, uh, the most logical thing that I'll do is I'll just deposit some excess cap, not excess, but additional capital from cold storage onto Bybit uh, to take the long position on the BTC USDT contract. Because again, that's the contract that I really Really prefer trading lately due to its ability to be long and short simultaneously oh we're just giving up honey here bring the tablet to daddy i will fix it bring it to daddy i got you don't drop your headphones you got two hands and we're missing dependent okay uh <laughs> so again uh as far as price targets to the downside uh we've kind of talked about these before uh, price targets aren't extremely helpful when we're looking at movements that are going to be based on market momentum and actual trader activity. Uh, so let's simply use our CC emas to get a decent look of what is logical. Again, here on the weekly chart, we do, of course, have our 55 even coming in at 92.50. That's a good stop to the downside. The 100 at 84.21. And then, of course, our 200 EMA at 65.46. 68.46? 6846 i apologize the resolution on my secondary tv is not it's not super fantastic but it's not too bad it's certainly uh, i can't complain for traveling uh now that's my preference to use the emas uh, because i'm not so focused on the actual price uh, these are the averages of price over time and so they just give us good areas where price is likely to go uh, the actual place where price stops and turns around is going to be based on the order book at any given point in time now uh those uh excuse me that range between the 100 ema there in the 55 does also give us good confluence there with the edge to edge trade or the descension down to the bottom of the Kumo cloud to kind of test that area out as well as the Kijun staying there. So again, just good logical areas. Honey, if you don't bring me the tablet, I can't fix it, honey. I can't do anything from over here. Careful with your headphones. Come on then. Come on, sweetheart. All right. We don't like this one. Look, we swipe up from the bottom and we hit the back button. Yeah. We'll do it again. Yeah, we just hit it a bunch. There we go. And now you play whatever you like. There you go. All right, you go get that one. All right. Uh, so with that being said, let's go to the daily now and see where we're at as far as kind of that daily stop and turn. All right, so following that crash from the upper price areas here, again, Bitcoin has done really nothing except trade in this range. Uh, we really have range resistance up in the low 11,000s. We really need to see that break. And uh, we have, of course, our lows here in the low 10,000. So we have a nice $1,000 range. As I've said, range trading strategy is going to be the most successful here, not only on the daily, but also on the meso time frames and the micro time frames as well. So uh, if I were inclined to actively trade this, which I'm not at the current moment, uh, that is what I would be doing. Uh, daily is actually being a little bit positive for us today with our open at 10,807 and our current price at 10,613. Oh, that can't be right. 10,800. There we go. 10,613, excuse me. So about a $50 movement so far uh, intraday to the upside with a little bit of wobble in between, uh, which is nice to see after yesterday's uh, about 2% dump. But again, this is all low volatility. These are not massive movements in the market. So again, this is indicative of, you know, I'm not sure if all of Q4, uh, well, certainly not all of Q4 will be like this. Uh, as I said, um, you know, moving into the election, things get really hairy. And this is certainly just an area where I don't want to have a lot of risk on the market. So the safest thing for me to be is hedged. So that hedge has been nice. It has actually generated profit. But keep in mind, that is not the point of a hedge, right? A hedge is to protect you, right? Uh, utilizing futures uh, to take a short position in contrast to the actual capital that you have in BTC is my preferred method because I want to hold BTC. Um, because it's very similar to the idea of if you just invest in something that is of value, whether, you know, uh, regardless of price, if you don't try to time the market on your investments, if you just simply buy something of high quality uh, at a predetermined time, 
regardless of what the price is. So basically dollar cost averaging, long-term investing, long-term thinking. This is over the last 100 years, the most successful investment strategy in any market at any given point in time. It has the highest success rate, it has the lowest failure rate. It works. Um, it works if you buy things of high quality regularly. This is why I do Money Monday and um, why I uh, advise individuals to do it as well. Uh, because if you would just simply pot Bitcoin once a month, you would have more probably right now for the majority of retail traders watching or just involved in the market, you would have more Bitcoin now than if you attempted to uh, time the market, right? So uh, timing the market is what I do for active income. And again, it takes strategy, it takes patience, it takes discipline, which most of you guys know, and I'm very happy. So uh, let's, uh, Nature Bound says, dude's got so much coin he has access. Listen, I, I certainly, as I've said many times, I am not the wealthiest individual in the world. Um, I, I, I have worked hard enough that I can enjoy a small modicum of, of, uh, uh, of comfort. Uh, Prophet Bear, thank you so much for the kind words, my friend. Uh, you know, I have had a lot of twists and turns in my life. Um, so uh, it's it's good to uh, it's good to be on the upside, right? It's good to be on the upside. <laughs> now we know the difference between a hedge and a shrubbery. Uh, uh, Wally, uh, hey Wally, if you call me uh, if you call me Daddy a few more times, I'll probably do anything you like. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, can I fix your Bitmax contract looks? Yeah, man. Um, uh, let me let me just call up uh, let me call up Big Daddy Arthur, right? He must have set the he he must have put the settings on fu and not mildly annoying. Okay. Uh, so, um, let's get a little bit more info though here on the daily before we dive off. Just a few things here. Uh, so let's check out where we are in regards to reversals. Again, still an active bottom feeder trade up to 10,903. Okay, so that is, that, that's okay. That is on the table. That's a valid signal to take. Uh, TV sequential is just flipping and color flipping between the ones and twos and twos and threes and, you know, just, uh, red and green. So again, indicative of consolidation, nothing major there. Uh, bottom feeder is not, um, oversold. So it's not really indicating a great buy. Uh, again, it's just midline. We are in the middle of the range. It's a really dangerous area. Uh, to be putting on um, kind of a more significant trade because you know just look at this for a second like where are you gonna put your stop like below the, the most recent low well if you're then you know that's a terrible area to place your stop so if you're going to trade long and you're trading on the daily okay so say you you know so say you you do end up placing your stop there well a your stops terrible uh, and B so let's say you want to do like a soft stop well really come on man that's a, that's a pretty long distance you're gonna have to use a relatively small position size that's likely not going to be worth it in the um, in the overall scheme of things. Uh, and again, even CM Laguerre, just not really bottomed out, certainly closer to the lower section here, uh, but not really giving us any uh, super useful information. Uh, so, you know, a low risk trade on the bottom feeder signal here would be would be fine. Uh, bottom feeder has had you guys can't see it super well here. Let me expand the screen and just bring this down. Again, bottom feeder has nailed this once and twice, uh, but again, we're getting kind of weak here. So this is an area where I'm either expecting to see a kind of FU push to the upside, and then we'll take the, uh, you know, honestly, when we say like, well, the way to buy the breakout is we'll just wait for the pullback often with Bitcoin anyways, that doesn't come. It's either a Jericho screw you candle and you either got in real fast and you have to be watching kind of the lower time frames, and then BitMEX shifts to kind of really catch that um, or just get lucky because you were long. You're like, oh, yeah. Um, uh, certainly, uh, historically, the better thing has been to wait for that. Oh, oh my God, look, it's pumping. Price is pumping. Oh, my God, w WTF. It doesn't matter, man. I, you know, when, you, when you've traded for a long time, you realize that it doesn't really matter whether price moves an inch or a mile, right? It doesn't matter if it moves 0.1% or, you know, 100%, right? The only thing that matters is what is your strategy to consistently capture a movement in the market, not I got lucky and caught a movement in the market one time. My cousin Josh was over here. He thought it was amazing. His eyes bulged out of his socket, right? You got lucky, right? That's cool, right? That's okay to be lucky, but does not make you a trader, right? It doesn't make you a trader. Trading takes time. It takes years of putting in the work every day, not just, hey, I showed up and made money off Bitcoin. Good job, man. So did a lot of people that lost money in 2018. Uh, all right, let's get off Bitcoin here for a little bit. So overall, not doing anything today. I don't have an active. I do not have an active intraday trade. And if I were to do anything, it would be, um, it would be nothing, man. Uh, the four hours a little bit more. You know, uh, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get uh, bogged down in nuance and consistency. Again, if I were to do anything on the intraday, uh, I would likely short here down to 10,626 and attempt to pick up a long there. Uh, secondary stops would be around 10,600 down to 10,580. Below that, I'm waiting until I see uh, large volume spikes to let me know uh, what's going on. Uni is exploding. It's a good thing I never sold my uni. 
Uh, you know, I, to be quite honest with you, I haven't, uh, I haven't even, I haven't even claimed my, uh, my unit tokens, right? Uh, they, you know, they've been on there. I tried to do it real quick before I left for, um, uh, for this little sojourn. Uh, and I got that kind of MetaMask, uh, uh, spinning, 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 right? <laughs> so, all right, what do we got here? Um, All right, we got BZRX blowing up. And Miss Independence say Bitcoin. Hey, honey, can you say Bitcoin? Oh yeah, she said Bitcoin. <laughs> um, yeah, that Pusky Buffet just pips you up the line. <laughs> Uh, lost and faded guitarist says uh, Bitcoin is old news core is the future. Let's go. Yeah um, I, I've heard that for uh, nigh on five years now man. Uh, no Bitcoin is the future. Let's go um, Literally anything else is just an opportunity for highly intelligent uh, coding nerds to make money it, wa Welcome to reality guys. Sorry. None of your shit coins are gonna make it past the finish line um, I'm really parched you know, listen, I ordered uh, like Uber Eats like, oh, man, a while ago and that is not here. I w listen, so I took a nap. I woke up at 3.30, had everything set up, was ready to go. Um, and I was, I was, I scheduled the Uber Eats to be here at 3.30. And then what I see is, uh, oh, sorry, that restaurant closed. Or like, you know, it, it not like closed, like it went out of business. Dude, before the COVID came, there used to be rows of Subway shops here. Uh, now there's just this one snack shack uh no but um uh so i had to like order something and then this dude's like i don't know he's been taking forever maybe it's here uh well if i knew how to use this darn smartwatch there we go uh do i have ah oh, here we go notifications Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, what? Yeah. See, we are unable to complete your order from Gyro Huts. I was really looking forward to that Gyro too, man. Ooh. All right. I don't think it's here yet. <laughs> I'm so thirsty, man. Um. Do, do, do. I have an X. How about Ada? All right, let's keep it. Uh, let's keep it light. Let's keep it fun. Uh, let's keep it exciting. Let's do. I don't know. Uh, let's get over here to this chart. Uh, I just want to pop in on this. Yesterday we talked about EOS. EOS certainly blew up. Remember, uh, off of that uh, Microsoft. Uh, excuse me, Google Cloud uh, news. I know. I'm thirsty too, baby. Oh, stop it. We just ate chicken fingers just like when we when we realized the food wasn't going to be on time. All right, so let's talk about that um uh, let's talk about that EOS trade. Uh so, uh just just being completely frank, uh I I when I exited the show yesterday, I wanted to get into the position. Uh, we were trying to get out the door because we wanted to go uh do our dinner engagement and I you know, I started, you know, kind of monkeying around, trying to get everything yeah, just logged into Bybit. Um, and I, I was in it. I spent about five minutes with it um, after the stream and I just gave up. So I did not, I didn't actually put any money into this. I apologize if, I, if anybody feels like I misled them. Uh, but uh, let's talk about the, whoa, before we do that, before we start moving things around. There we go. Okay. Just the way it was. Uh, we had talked about uh, just using the Fibonacci retracement to kind of pick out an area where a buyback in might have been good. And let's see how this trade played out. Uh, so we were talking about picking up a position right around this area. You can see the green box territory. And again, not just not the, the most fantastic trade, but just the setup that you had presented with, right? You see a nice pump, price pulls back about 50 to 60%. That's generally a good buy-in area, right? That's another reason why um, the uh, the Fibonacci tool is not too bad because 50 to 60% of a pullback is an area where anybody would be like, oh, that's a 60% that's a deal. Let's do it. Uh, I don't know who that is. What's up, babe? Me, let me do this for 10 more minutes, okay? At least 10 minutes, then we take a break. 
Uh, so price did pull back to that area, uh, of course, because it was coming down. Uh, now, there was, for those of the, you who are out there who are quick, it did pop from the 618 or the 60%, let's call it, uh, back to that 50%. So again, with uh, with a pretty decent position size, uh, you would add a 1% movement on the table. Again, fortunes have been made and lost on a 1% movement, so before you uh, before you snark it, but certainly not really the trades that we are designed, or that we practice, or that we are set up here for. Uh, now... Let's say you entered in this area. I will say that I, that of the that looking at this entire range, right? Of course, I would have tried to take it back up here to the middle of the range. Uh, excuse me, back up to the previous shelf that it was trading at. Now, um, the what you did get if you had entered in that area is a lot of time to get out of that position, right? When you're day trading, if a position really doesn't if a setup doesn't do what you think it's going to do, which in the case of a uh, of a big pump and then a 60% retracement, you're expecting price to, to, to move fairly quickly. Um, but it didn't. It languished, I mean, for, geez, two hours? I mean, you had plenty of time to get out of that. So apologies if anybody didn't. Uh, and even, like, where are we at now? Is it really bad? Is it super bad? <laughs> Ah, it's it's not even bad. You are you're basically you're basically there again, all right? In fact, in fact, you're up. So, um, not bad, not bad. Uh, so not the trade that we deserved, uh, and maybe not the trade that we needed. So, let's go look at what you guys are pumping. So I heard uh, BZRX, right? BZRX and Cardano from David Rice here. I see. All right, uh, we do got OBV and the EMAs up. So let's go look at BZRX. And of course, uh, we can tell the market cycle by seeing, oh man, this just got listed on Binance. Did it immediately pump or did it immediately dump? It immediately dumped. Uh, listen guys, this is, uh, I don't have a lot of good advice here. Uh, this is a shit coin, uh, price is super low. Um, I, I don't think that we're, well, maybe we will, uh, but I don't know, I don't, I don't have a lot of conviction right now that we're going to see another uh, big altcoin rally. Uh, you know, I've only got about $20,000 in altcoins right now. So, um, you know, I showed you that guys the other day, like one of the one of the one of those uh, portfolios that I had uh, was like 30,000, right? It's just a month ago now. It's like 10,000 sucks. But hey, you know, that is not primarily how I get mine. So uh, and all, you know, listen, this this year was quite good to me. Right. So a being being grateful and and very very appreciative of what the universe has decided to bless me with of what i have been intelligent enough to capture um which is gas in the truck uh home over our heads and uh you know enough wits by the way this hotel i wanted to, to give you guys an update this is the second oldest running hotel in the country right it's awesome it's beautiful uh, i took some really really cool um uh, photosphere and panorama uh, shots uh yesterday and uh, I will post those on the Twitter uh, either later tonight or tomorrow. Uh, really, really awesome stuff. And I've met some cool people here. And we went walking down uh, just the, the downtown Main Street. We're on the Main Street of the city that we're in. We, you know, me, me and Eliana went walking uh, uh, down there. And just is it's just beautiful. Beautiful last night. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the only kind of logical setup that I see here, the only reason I would want to buy BZRX here is if I was a DJ, which, hey, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and, you know, and I was kind of looking for, for one of these pumps. Now let's see what this is like relative to, I mean, these are like decent little movements up, right? You know, 20 to 30% buybacks and it looks about time for one, right? Bunch of red, bunch of red and a pop, uh, you know, a bunch of red and a little pop here. Um, but look, volume has, con you know, consistently lowering. Let's, 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 let's get a, let's get a closer view on this, on the hourly. Let's go down. Let's zoom in. Let's, let's put the scalpel on this. All right, listen. Yes. When you look at it like this, I mean, that's been going down quite a while. I mean, it's got to go up at some point, right? No, it doesn't. It can continue to go down. Um, you know, this stop and reverse area does not look, you know, qualitatively different than this area right here, which led to further decline, or this area right here, which led to the further decline in this area. Uh, uh, that momentum is different there. Um, yeah, uh, you know, the things that, that I would like to see in a potential reversal... Um, you know, wicks, wicks are good to the downside. Wicks indicate lots of limit orders getting filled. Um, higher low is good to see. Nice triple bottom, pushing up and testing resistance. You know, listen, the things are there. Uh, the things are there. Um, 
buy the next pullback for the long and drop it if we end up breaking below this low here, which would be in sat value, about 995. Is that the low? 996, 999, 996 sats uh, is the current swing, is the current local lows, the current swing low. Um, so if we get a pullback here to like, I don't know, 10,043, unlikely, maybe 10,065, somewhere in that area, uh, that'd be a uh, more strategic place to enter, placing the limit bid down there. And I would certainly close that trade out um, if we go below 996. All right. And that's just a quick, short, dirty intra setup. Now for this particular movement, um, you really don't want to get greedy. Again, my day trade target on this would likely be about so 8% would take us back up to the bottom of the previous range. So I would do like six, six to seven percent, six to seven percent on that, and then, uh, then I would reevaluate, right? So if we actually shelve, actually bottom out, then potentially it would warrant some more capital. But I just don't see the, um, I just don't see, I just don't see, I just don't see that as the optimum thing for me to do. You know, listen, I, you know, I wish, uh, I feel like sometimes that doesn't make you guys happy, but I can only tell you um, what I would do, right? And, and sometimes what I would do is like not a whole lot, like the all. Yeah, all coin markets are great when everything's pumping and wah, wah, wah. All right, so let's go over to chart X. Um, and hopefully I'm doing this right because I don't know what uh, chart X did here, but I used to just type in um, uni and it would just come up like no problem. And perhaps they've like added complexity here that I don't see. So uh, we, I know we can look at uni on uh, Bonanza Co too. So let's... Do that. Ooh. Okay, cool. I can show she wasn't playing with <laughs> uh uni on Binance. Blowing up, huh? Yeah, that's blowing up. And blowing up my <laughs> blowing up my alternative um MetaMask accounts, I'll tell you what, bud. Uh looks like shite, man. Um again, uh, exact same thing I said with BZRX. Uh it doesn't even no offense, it just doesn't really uh da -da 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 -da. Uh, Ivan X says, is there a, a list at the time being? My request would be win USDT. That would be great. Since he said some good things before, might be interested in doing a trade there. Yeah, sure. Let's go check out win. Uh, and, and I apologize, Lost and Fade Guitars, but um, yeah. Listen, you know, uh, this, this is not the best channel to, to show the bags, right? Look at the viewers. Right? Uh, this is the, the few, the proud, the brave. But listen, hey, you know, I was talking to a, I was talking to a gentleman that I met last night at Target. A really cool guy. We ended up talking for like 45 minutes. Um, and, uh, you know, he was saying how he does some, uh, uh, he was talking about how he does uh, his Etsy shop and is trying to get a following on social media and get that pushing. And I'm like, look, man, like, you know, I've done this show for almost three years and for a long time, there's very little traction. And then for about a year and a half, like it really started blowing up. And like over the last like six months or uh, yeah, six months or so, it started to cool off a bit. And I'm like, and, and, and that's okay. Right. Because I like doing the show. I would do the show if there was just 10 people that showed up uh, because it's therapeutic for me and I enjoy doing it. And, um, you know, Bitcoin Meister, Mr. Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, God bless that dude. He's been doing a Bitcoin live stream every day for years, like, like, I think like five years and like 30 people have shown up to that thing and he's done it for five years. Right. So listen, rules to success. Don't care about what other people think about what you're doing. Focus on what makes you happy. Focus on what you are productive at and efficient at and good at. Uh, focus on what generates value for you and other individuals. And uh, and you'll do well, right? If I would have given up because, oh man, nobody, nobody's showing up to my live streams. Oh my God. The people who, the people who want to come, uh, the people who need to hear the information, they'll come. Ooh, let's do dark techno. That sounds good. Mm, uh, I don't know. Actually, that's a. Uh, if we do. Da, 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 da. Yeah, boo boo. Okay, babe. Let me come. Ch uh, bring it here. Bring it to daddy, honey. Daddy, we'll fix it again. Uh, let's do. Thank you, baby. Um. Best of 2019. 
What is this? That's me. That's me. Yeah, careful. That's a touch screen, though. Okay. May I suggest... Um... Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go over here to movies and TV. All right. You don't want to watch shows? You want to play a game? Honey, we, that's just the, that was just the game you said you didn't like. We got locked in there again. Hold on, baby. I, I know you're grumpies. I know you're grumpies. Honey, you don't like this game. Remember? Okay, all right, all right, all right. You got this. You got this. Okay. Uh, win, right? Yeah, 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 win. That's what we were gonna do. Win USDT, yep. On Binance. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, GBU says, uh, let's ban people who say, let's go. Let's go! Let's go! Dun, 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 dun. Um, what do I think of Hex? Uh, I think you're probably showing it if you're asking. Babe, I tried to help you. But you wanted to do, 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 do. I'll help you again. You just got to come over here. Uh, no, no problem, man. No problem. Lost and faded. Smarter to learn day trading in Bitcoin or find a professional broker. Yeah, don't give your money to anybody else, man. Uh, uh, let's see. Midwest is asking me to make sure to check out the audio engagement. I got you, my man. Uh, Brisology says, Hex has made me a lot of money in the last 10 months. Yes, I bet it has. It, it will, excuse me. Woo. Uh, it will, it will stop doing that at some point in time. All right. Get yours while you can. Get the gyro, gyro, hero, nachos. Oh man. I was really looking forward for that. Um, oh man. I got it. I mean, uh, I got it. I got that, uh, that, that gyro. Oh man. I just. Mm, Temco pumped 2,180% since May. Says that's 180XT. Hell yeah, bro. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Ivan X says... Uh, oh, WinUSDT. Yeah, of course. I got you, man. All right. So the last time I looked at WinUSDT, I did like the potential setup that it presented. So I know I would like to say that, oh, that must have been right here. I really don't think it was. I do believe we were looking at it over here. Um, and certainly looking at this chart, uh, I feel like just wrong time, wrong place, right? Let's get, to that. Let's get rid of that one OBV. That's kind of uh, cluttering things. Again, so um, let's, let's just look at this chart structure so that we have kind of good base knowledge, right? So that we're all speaking the same language, that we're all using the same lexicon. So what do I see when I look at this chart? Well, I see... Uh, a nice push to the upside here. This is a nice Jericho candle, followed by a month of wicks, right? Doji wicks, to, but but mostly I'd say certainly the more impressive wicks are to the upside here, right? You know, this is concerning, right? Not something I was actively monitoring. And then what do we see? We see a sell-off, right? Now, of course, this is coinciding with the rest of the market, the broader market, uh, but it's just something to be aware of, right? When you start seeing that, that stop, and consolidation with low volatility, especially with uh, larger wicks to the upside or downside if we're at the bottom of a market cycle. Uh, you know, it is a warning sign, right? It's a warning sign. Certainly there's not, not a whole lot of weekly information here. I do think we can pull up uh, more info. Uh, perhaps look at the market cap chart. Baby. You being a little grumps grumps. You should have taken a longer nap. All right, we're going to take a break here in just a sec. Let me finish looking at this one, okay? Come here, babe. Hey, come here. Yes, bring it to me. I'll fix it. <laughs> She's doing the toddler roll around on the floor right now. Oh, man. Uh, so this certainly does not look good on the weekly. I do like to see that we've, uh, you know, kind of seen momentum slow down here, but I'd like to see more. Okay, thank you. Now, maybe you'll let me do it for a few seconds. Instead of trying to take it from me and then going right back to the game that you proclaim you did not like. Yeah, maybe. Okay. So that's a birdcage. Yeah, that's where naughty girls go. You want to watch Disney Plus? Yeah, okay. Boom. Beauty. It's funny. Okay, there you go. You watch whatever you like. Honey, make sure you pick up your headphones, though. Don't just drag them around, please. All right, uh, so on the daily, 
Boom. Again, uh, consolidation after movement to the downside. Can we see a pump? Maybe, but again, probably just going to range. Um. All right, so we had a nice perfected nut, baby. Hey, I'm doing. All right, well you do that one. Just click it. Oh shoot, I gotta. You know what, honey? I'm gonna have to log in and everything. So just give me five minutes, honey. Pick something different. Um. Yep, so we have a perfected nine count to the downside here, which led to consolidation. It led to kind of the stop of that hard momentum to the downside. Now, TD Sequential is designed to be a reversal indicator. So again, buying on that nine or in this area is not a bad idea if we do have that, uh, uh, if we do get appreciation above here. Now, things that I like. Again, nice wick to the downside here. Hammer candle. Um, no high or low yet. I do want to see a high or low, right? So we have this... Uh, we have this kind of weak sauce double bottom, and if we expand it, see if we have any um, Adam and Eve formation. So again, we want to see like a nice rounded bottom and then a V bottom. It's typically the best. Don't really see that here too much, you know, maybe a little around here in the V bottom, yeah, but uh, no, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't convincing me. Again, pretty, um, pretty consistent lows here. I haven't seen a higher low yet. Uh, if, whoa, this is hardcore, brother. What a... Oh, honey. Listen, you're just sitting here all miserable. You haven't learned what wait means yet. And I know it's my fault because your daddy is one of those guys that's like, well, honey, I'll be there in a minute and then I'm there in 10. All right, so... That's okay, daddy will fix it. I'm also a fixer. Ooh, we got to download that one. What about choo-choo trains? Okay, that's a download too. Where's your games? Uh, oh, we got a downloads, right? Oh, you, honey, you keep clicking that game and you don't like it. No, don't click it. No, you don't. You always, you, you've been, you languished over there for like 10 minutes for something different. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, all right, so it, hey. I have to take I have to take this break, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, give me a... Uh, uh, so, if I were to take this trade... Um, all right. I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back, guys. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them, I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Mais um dia maravilhoso e nessa terra. Bom dia.
mais um dia maravilhoso nessa terra. Now, I apologize if that last scene was uh, confusing. The stream is not ending. Should be uh, BRB. Um, just doing kind of my makeshift uh, laptop setup on my OBS helmeter. So again, if uh, I saw the Uber Eats came, or it's been there for a while. So it's probably been there for a while. And uh, I will say, if it hasn't, the, uh, the Uber Eats guys here are terrible on the fries. And we got fries like twice, both times. Ooh, that's loud. Mm. Sorry. So both times uh, with the uh, fries from Uber Eats. Just so cold, man. And I know that's like a thing, but like, come on, guys. There's, there's got to be ways we can keep fries nice and hot. I mean, they figured something out with pizza, right? You got that special sleeve. Gotta be something. Uh, anyways, not a huge fan of WinX here. Again, it's a reversal trade, as with all things, and I just, I'm not feeling it. Uh, that, probably, that probably means we get a, a rando pump out of nowhere. Um, so I just, but here I don't see a setup. I, I don't I don't see a setup, right? I don't see the technical setup. You know, it would be, you know, a bottom play. Um, so, but the only place you got to set your stop loss is here. It's terrible, right? So, uh, when we are continuing to make new lows, I genuinely expect to continue making them. So we'll just wait and see. Um, I, I can't really. That's, that's that's about all I have on when. I did I did like I did like what I saw earlier. Um, I don't currently see that. Now I will I will say that. Um, I like when, right? Uh, but the only thing that I see is really this. Oh. The only thing I see here is a big sell-off back to a previous level of support, um, which doesn't really mean anything in and of itself, right? Everybody's like, oh, it's back in support. Well, that doesn't mean you should buy. You need to see something happen at support that would make you want to buy uh, even if price wasn't at support, right? Like The fact that price is at support just means, oh, price is currently trading at a level that it's previously traded at. Great. So what? So, all right, let's see how. I mean, listen, Brazology, dude, like, listen, I, I've had long, eloquent conversations and discussions, like, debating all, like, the individual, like, oh, why Hex is great or different or this or that or nine times, like, and not just on Hex, on, like, literally anything, dude, and it, here's a fundamental factor of life. If you need to come in my chat and tell me why your project is so great, why your investment is amazing, then who's selling what, man? You know, like, jeez. I mean, sure, it'll. Is it going to replace CDs? Maybe, but that's. Listen, if you are expecting Hex to be like so magically because of the way that it's built, more successful than Bitcoin, you're smoking drugs, man. You're smoking drugs. You know, Bitcoin is going to do. Uh, Bitcoin is going to do something. Uh, in, in, uh, uh, what's we're looking for? Like magnificently uh, impactful on the global geopolitical level before anything below it ever will. All right, because of its traction, because of its namesake, because of what it is. Right, unless uh, uh, a nation state really gu guaps up a, a cryptocurrency, it's just not going to happen, man. Like it's not going to happen. Um, and that doesn't mean that Hex sucks or is a scam or is this or that. I never said that. I just said it's a shit coin, man. That's all it is. It's a shit coin with a pretty cool um, veneer over it and a, a charismatic uh, front guy. There's a ton of those, okay? There's nothing special about Hex. Don't get bogged down in the white paper or it does this or it does that, man. Those are just words, dude. Do you know, you know did, did you write the code? Do you understand how it works? Do you, you know, like, did you deploy it? Like, if the answer to those is no, then if you're arguing about, like, the individual nuances of why your investment or project or coin is fantastic, then you're either a shill or a dummy, right? In general, right? In general, right? And, and... <laughs> It's a pretty good it's a pretty good goal in life to be neither just say
This is a good tune, man. Smiles, Jay, good to see you. Oh, man, I'm so behind on the chat. What? Uh, gotta look at comp and bell. Uh, just give me a second, man. Let me get caught up with the chat. Man, can I? So this is a. Uh, no, I don't think you're supposed to do that. I don't think you're supposed to use it as a straw. And I'm sorry, I'm sitting here on the stream eating ice cream, but I'm sorry, guys, I'm thirsty. Uh, Smile says, I don't look like a truck guy, maybe a hatchback or something. I got Chevy Silverado 1500, my brother. Heathens go Heath! <laughs> oh, cheers. Uh, didn't BZX have a bug in the protocol or something to cause its crash? I think you're thinking of uh, uh, Yam? Maybe? I wouldn't, Wook Chewy would not uh, recommend buying any sauce unless it comes in a jar. Uh, is DeFi going down because people are pulling liquid out or Ethereum fees are dropping to Ethereum 2.0? I mean, DeFi is going down because um, back when we had that big weekly candle on Bitcoin and everything moved down pretty significantly, that was a sign that large money or some facet of large money had pulled money out of the market. And that is a signal that everybody below them, which, you know, it comes all the way down to me and, and 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 everybody else, like every other person that's involved in the financial markets. Like, hey, big money might be getting out of the market. Well, some big money just got out of the market. Not all big money did, but some did. And and that's a sign, man. So you're seeing uh, the reason the reason DeFi is going down is because people are starting to panic, right? Uh, I think a lot of retail traders are starting to get nervous and, and starting to sell their positions. And we're seeing a lot of uh, uh, the majority of these these recent uh, projects uh, cash out. Uh, that we're going to cash out anyways. That a lot of it's happening now, man. And, and I see it because of the 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 quality or lack thereof of the new projects that are launching, right? You know, like people, people are just like busting up white papers in in in, in back alleys and 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 dropping their token. Uh, Patrick says uh, Bitcoin Meister is an OG. Yeah, uh, I absolutely love uh, love uh, love Bitcoin Meister, man. Uh, qual quality here, not quantity with you, mate. Thank you, thank you, Philly. I appreciate that, man. Uh, hey, listen, there has been some weeks, though, where it's been quantity, not quality. So I appreciate you guys uh, bearing with me. Uh, Justin says, try the dark techno John Wick mix. Really good. Heck yeah. Uh, uh, Jason, will you drop that down, man? We'll try to play that for the next one. So I'm like way behind on the chat, man. Uh, uh, careful with all of the microwave radiation, especially around kids. Why follow? Yeah, I feel you, man. Um, you know, uh, you know, I've certainly done my research on that, but uh, there's nothing I can do, man. Like we, you know, we 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 travel a lot. We're in the city a lot, and I certainly know there's there's ways to to get around it. Um, I could be a lot better with that. You know, I do admire. Um, uh, Naomi, when I talked to Naomi Brockwell at SFBW, uh, you know, she's she's serious about that. She's got a video on, you know, like completely getting off Wi-Fi and taking Ethernet cables with her everywhere. And, you know, I you know what? I think I'll make that a New Year's resolution 2021. I'll, I'll I will try to get off Wi-Fi uh, because I, I do want to. Right. And I know it's possible. Right. Not all the time. You know, I'm not going to be like I'm not I'm not uh, militant about anything. But um. <laughs> Beeflow says she doesn't want you to fix it. She wants you to acknowledge to her that it is broken. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Yes. Correct. Is the music still loud? Do I have thoughts on the Joe Rogan Spotify controversy? 
Oh, hey, there's my friend from, uh... What's up, babe? Uh... <sighs> Let me just send him much appreciated. That's my that's my uh, my friend last night with the, uh, the Etsy thing. Oh, you want to send daddy's ice cream, don't you? You coming over here with those hungry eyes. <laughs> here, baby. <laughs> oh, you didn't like hungry eyes? That killed it? I feel the tension between you and I. Um, no, nah, you know, honestly, uh, I don't know too much about the Joe Rogan Spotify controversy. I know that, uh, so from what I understand, obviously Joe Rogan signed that deal with Spotify, and then they're trying to say, like, uh, you know, the employees are trying to boycott because they're really leftist or something like that, basically, right? In which case, you know, that's like... <laughs> yeah only quality drugs please uh bitcoin is already impacting the world governments are talking about it laws are being written. yeah so i think honestly uh, i would look into it a lot more than that not only is bitcoin impacting the world let's get back to bitcoin here for a second by the way um not only is bitcoin currently impacting the world right now and laws are being written about it like it, it's been going on for about three years like you know the uh, the governments of the world are in, in, in the active process, I don't care what they say. I do not care what the Treasury says, what the, um, what's, you know, what, what the, uh, um, I don't care what the Treasury says. I don't care what, you know, what, what any announcement that comes out of the Senate or the Senate Bank, anything like that. I don't care what the Fed says. They are actively in the process, and we know that now, uh, and they have been for three years, of at least at least three of getting us to a digital dollar global standard, right? Um, you know, individual countries and governments are pursuing this individually, uh, and then uh, large intergovernmental international uh, interests are pursuing this on a global scale. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's, the, it's the, the greatest possible tool for tyranny and efficiency, right? It can be used either way. The, the sword swings both ways. Now, with Bitcoin, it's uh, liberty, I believe, and with uh, the digital dollar, it's tyranny. When you're drinking your McFlurry, it's fantastic. <laughs> yes, Jason, I did try to suck on the spoon <laughs> that attaches to the mix. I just looked at it. I was like, oh, there's a hole there, right? You could probably do that. Um, do I think that the only... <laughs> Reason Bitcoin is worth 10500 is because it costs 9000 to mine. Well, it depends on where you are. Um, I think the average cost for mining is actually closer to 6000 if I'm not incorrect. Mr. Hughes says, I was wondering, when you said something about going on a date, if it was with Naomi. You know, listen, I would gladly go on a date with Naomi. She's beautiful. She's talented. She's a great conversationalist. I would be a lucky man. Uh, I do believe she's taken. Uh, you know, so hey. Let her know. Uh, let's say Melanation says I'm talking crazy. Well, eh, you know. Uh, am I afraid that a Wi-Fi is going to give me cancer or something? No, it's just uh, it, it actually has nothing to do with the health concerns. So hold on, let me restate that. Uh, I'm not really too concerned about the the health concerns. I'm concerned about the privacy aspect of Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is inherently insecure, far more insecure than a wired Ethernet connection. So that's my stance. Sorry. Uh, but then again, yes, we don't know the long-term health impacts of like Wi-Fi. Like, you know, I, I'm not uh, one of those 5G guys. I'm not one of these like, ah, it gives people cancer stuff. But I also will, will acknowledge that we don't know, right? We do not have a lot of test evidence of, you know, birth to zero or controlled. We are terrible. Uh, at least for public tests. We are terrible at like testing health and stuff, right? You know, like we don't do real controlled experiments. Like to do a controlled experiment with a human being, you have to take a, uh, like a, you have to take a like laboratory grown human, right? And and account for all conditions and then and then run a control group and, and do, you know, like an AB sample. We don't do that because it's, it's, it's immoral, right? Like I'm not saying that it's not. I'm just saying that, you know, pretty much a lot of what we do is anecdotal, man. You know, even like when we do 
double blinds and things like you know the double blind is better than anecdotal but it's not you know it, it's not um it's not perfect because you're not controlling for what happened to the human prior to going into the to the situation it's, it's and it's extremely difficult and we're often just and we're usually just crap at it of like following up uh post this thing i'm way back on the chat I got ice cream on my nose. Uh, Joe Rogan is clearly a fascist. Yeah, clearly. Uh, <laughs> Asriel says, I tried that with the McFlurry spoon. I was like, hey, yeah, it just kind of goes to show you like how, how often I eat a McDonald's. Indeed. Oh, yeah, I feel the same way I have an ex about Bitcoin. Mm. This is good, man. Uh, do I have any mining going on right now? Um, listen, I have a... Whoa. Small amount of processing power uh, going, you know, that, that's doing Ethereum. It, it's not a lot. It's like one rig. And... Um, uh, and then uh, just the just the partner uh, just the uh, partner coins uh, that I have uh, and I have listen I have um, I do have some money that I have invested um, in a uh, in Bitcoin mining but it's not it's not like I have the rigs or the machines or I have the setup right it's you know I put money into a pool of money with other like-minded individuals and friends um, and the system is run and I receive dividends off it's not cloud mining it's not nothing like that that's all a scam like I know the people you know we talked it out. It was a it was a good idea because I didn't want to deal with the the hardware end. He was test two babies for experiments. Of course, man. Oh, all right. What time is it? It's uh oh, it's five sixteen. All right, yeah, we gotta we gotta get we gotta get cooking, guys. It's been an hour, so let's get into da, 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 da. today's topical news stories. What up, baby? Well, come, come, come give it to me then. I, you know, I thought I told him. Oh, that's right. It was a lemonade if we would have got from the gyro hut. All right. So. <clears throat> I do not think uh, that was the right button. Yeah, baby. And, you know, honey. I wish you wouldn't grab these at the store. Because you normally drink out of a glass. You haven't used, you haven't, you don't really use a sippy cup ever, but. And we are going to be driving around in the truck a lot, so. Spills in the truck are unforgivable. Like, like you know, listen, guys, there there are things that I'm a uh, little, uh, little anal about. And one of them is children eating in my vehicle, right? Like, I hate it. You're lucky. You're cute. Oh, my goodness. Here. Lucky, lucky, lucky. You want your milk in there? We don't have any juice. We'll get some juice when we leave, okay? We'll bring your milk over here then. All right, so. Question on everybody's mind, is the DeFi party over? Well. Uh, those is underneath the table. Look, look underneath. No, no, no. See where the lamp is? Now, look, look at my finger. Look where I'm pointing. There, there, under that table. Under the table, honey. Right in front of you. Yep, there you go. Doze is. All right. Now, let's see how the layout looks here. No, I don't want to look at her all day. Don't cushion. Hey. Hey. Gaben Zeman and Tassi. I don't think putting it in a, a translucent pink container makes it uh, strawberry, honey. But it's good to dream. Man, I'm starving. I gotta get out of here. 
Uh, and we got to get on the road because we've got a, a beautiful Airbnb um, that is waiting for us. So, uh, sorry, let me hack this together real quick. And... Yoi! Uh... That'll do. That does it better than nothing. And we will add an image here. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> just can't keep your hands off of it, can ya? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh shoot, I know we got the background image in here somewhere. Um large icons. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, there it is. To the back. Yoi. Filters. Add. Color correction. Yep. And a little less opacity, please. A little less gamma. Yoi. A little uh, little more contrast. L little bit more brightness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Satur saturate it and then shift that hue. Go, baby. All right. <clears throat> we a weeble wobble. Oh, there goes a shoe. We lost one of the creepy shoes. All right. So, uh, obviously, DeFi tokens have been suffering some pretty big losses this week, right? And, of course, they can continue to slide. They can continue to slide. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down any. Uh, otherwise, it's been a pretty quiet week in DeFi. Uh, there's not a lot of high-profile food tokens uh, that launched. There, there were no new rugs that were pulled, uh, to the best of my knowledge. Yeah, you gotta shift that hue, man. Speaking of which, uh, you guys know what I bought? I bought speak. A speak? I did buy. Uh, I think I mentioned it yesterday, but I bought uh, the Phil. I got. I bought a bunch of Philips Hue stuff, right? So when, when I get back to the uh, to the studio, uh, I'm gonna set that up. Uh, it, it's gonna be really, really pretty. Um, and you guys can interact with that via Twitch and change the colors of my of my lights and stuff on on stream. It'll be nice. Um, you know, I tried to set it up here, but again, uh, the issue is um, you have to set the the Hue hub up with a wired Ethernet connection, and um. What I need, so probably what I'll grab actually, I can grab it today. I need to get a um, Type C to Ethernet uh, port because uh, my laptop does not have an Ethernet port on it. So I need to put a, a Type C to Ethernet port. Or if there's another workaround, like how would you, uh, how, how do you, uh, how do you plug an Ethernet cable into something that does not have an Ethernet cable? I know Type C works, USB Type C, and it has a US and it has a USB Type C port. Do do do. Now, you know, one could say, oh, honey, all my new pants. Come on now. <laughs> Her face. Uh, you know, one could say that it's been almost, it's been pretty quiet, almost too quiet, right? Um, you know, now that the excitement is, you know, kind of over and prices on DeFi uh, have really deflated to new lows, pretty logical to consider that the DeFi party might be over, right? Now, again, uh, we will likely have another whack noodle push to the upside, uh, but I doubt if we're going to break new highs. So, for like right now, I don't see anything that would suggest that. Uh, the only thing that would, you know, lead me to think that is if I had a ton of money in DeFi, for example, right? Then, of course, I would have something like, well, the market's got to go higher. No, the market ain't got to do nothing, bro, except continue to go down. <laughs> All right, so... Um, now, the yield farming darlings of last month uh, are taking the biggest beating this week. Uh, Comp broke through its uh, August price floor, uh, $127. The sushi swap token is in a near death spiral. And I did put some, I put, I put like $500 into it, I'm not going to lie. So that's probably like 150 now. Hey, you win some, you lose some. Um, the sushi swap's in a death spiral. It's down 90% from its highs. Uh, and even the unit token, uh, well, it's actually... The unit token has been quite sour, let's say, you know, let's say it was the last opportunity to get out. And then, of course, um, we have this story. Coinbase users have lost twenty five thousand dollars on you on your finance since the DeFi tokens debut. Right. Let's see. how. 
From the moment the digitally scarce token made its debut on Coinbase, it has fallen 65%. Ethernet over USB works well. Okay. Uh... I got rug pulled once and learned my lesson, says Wook Chewy. I've never been rug pulled. Not not like on a DeFi thing. Not the way we've been saying rug pulled. I mean, I've certainly been rug pulled before. I'm 32 years old. Uh, so I need a just a USB adapter. Okay. USB-C to Cat6. Yeah, okay. USB to Cat6. Yep, that's what I need. All right. I will order it or try to pick it up today. That. Thank you so much, Jordan. I appreciate that, man. Okay, bet. Yeah, I mean, if I was at home, I would certainly connect the Q Hub to my router with an Ethernet cable, yes, but I'm, I'm in a hotel where I do not have access to the router. Yeah, I love uh, USB-C cables. I'm trying to switch everything over to USB-C. Uh, I spent like a couple hundred dollars the other day on, on getting a uh, USB-C stuff. Uh, and honestly, that's not a lot. I probably need to spend like a thousand. All right. You and finance head and shoulders. Down we go. Thank you so much, Tony Spilatro. Good man. Good man. Unsung hero. All right. Now, uh, something that I wanted to cover yesterday, and this will be the kind of the last topic before we go. So if you guys have questions, get them in there. And of course, I will look at the audience engagement uh, sheet. Uh, sorry, uh, sheet uh, there, Jason. No, my, my fries are completely cold. It's okay. I just want the burger. The burger can be warmed up. Mm -hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got them. You guys are probably hear my daughter in the background. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right. With um, John McAfee. All right. Uh, hold on, let's see. The, this is a, you know, it's a bad time to do it, to change the filters on my mic. Um, so, we got him. John McAfee, the, the hooting and the hollering. Now, you know, what really sucks is that I had an opportunity to interview John. Uh, all right, that's, that, that lets me know it's time to leave the party, honey. All right, I'm coming. Um, you know, I had an opportunity to interview... Um, John, uh, somebody gave me the contact information for his wife, and I could have reached out, and I did not. I was just so busy at the time. It would have been nice to have him on the show and just to get, a, get a chat with him, man. Just get a chat. Um, but, of course, for those of you who don't know, you're probably not watching this channel, but uh, John McAfee, he is a tech millionaire, uh, or was, anyways, and a cryptocurrency advocate. Now, he was, um, you know, he of McAfee, right? Like the, the antivirus that was installed on every laptop by default uh, when, you know, as you were growing up as a kid. Uh, now, he was um, indicted and arrested in Spain, uh, I believe it was yesterday. Now, um, he, you know, he's been on the run from the U.S. authorities for years over alleged tax evasion and fraud charges. Of course, this is just what's going to get leveled at you. You know, anytime the government just doesn't like you, they're going to say tax evasion. It's probably true, oh, but again, you know, uh, tax is theft, so. Now, uh, following this arrest, we do have now information that he is accused of securities violations uh, because he did supposedly, or according to the allegations, rake in millions of dollars um, for his consultations and putting his name on stuff. Back in 2017 and the back in the 2018 uh, alt pumps, I mean, John McAfee was slapping his name on everything, you know, and that it would pump, right? John McAfee was the Ivan on tech of February 2018. I'll just say that. He was the Ivan on tech. If John McAfee set a coin to buy, and he was like, it was like once a week, he would do like my five, you know, altcoins to buy or ICOs to buy. You know, it was, uh, it was, it was awesome, man. Uh, you know, just, just where we've been. Uh, so, let me make sure I can scroll this down. Your hands. Yeah, even, they're even trying to get him on selling his, the rights to a documentary on his life uh, story. This is ridiculous, right? Uh, and promoting ICO token sales without being transparent that he was being paid as much as $23.1 million to do so. I bet that man did a lot. A lot. Now, the IRS has said to uh, have crypto millionaire tax evaders firmly on their radar. Uh, of course, we all received those letters last year and then earlier this year. Um so, you know, make sure you guys are minding your P's and Q's and paying your taxes, as I always advise everybody to do. 
uh, you know, either be good or be good at it. So the, um, you know, people like McAfee, they're going to make an example out of him. If they catch a public personality figure like this, they're going to drag him. They're going to throw the book at him. So uh, this does not look good for McAfee, unfortunately. Uh, he does seem to have abandoned his privacy-focused cryptocurrency, uh, Ghost, uh, that he launched two months ago. Um, you know, that, that probably didn't make him any more fans in the space either because it didn't really do well financially, except for, you know, a couple of people. Um, but, you know, celebrity shield coins... You know, you, you would think that might have been like a, a niche. Thing. It's been a flop, a massive flop uh, over the years. And, of course, the wider community, we caught on very quickly. And, uh, you know, largely you notice that they pass on these marketing gimmicks. Uh, unfortunately, interest, yield farming, gimmick. Of course, huge gimmick, uh, unsustainable. But we didn't pass on that. And, you know, for good stuff. Like, you know, we made uh, we made quite a bit. Uh, certainly some individuals did, so. These are market cycles that there are once in a lifetime opportunities, guys. Uh, you know, Bitcoin is one of them in a different way, right? You know, DeFi uh, in, um, you know, summer of 2020 and altcoins like traditional altcoins in, um, you know, the uh, 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 Q1 of 2018 and 20, you know, let's say Q4 of 2017, once in a lifetime opportunity, right? Once in a lifetime opportunity. In the sense that, you know, massive financial gains and price appreciations are once in a lifetime opportunities. Just, you know, let's just, let's just say that they are. All right, let's get the chat over here because this is the last thing I'm going to look at, uh, as well as the audience engagement tab. Right, let's get here. Yep, so um, uh, I, I apologize, guys. I, I got to get going. Um, I do see here a request for uh, synthetics from Mr. Ether. Um, thank you, Robert. I apologize. If I get a chance uh, when I get to the Airbnb this evening, uh, to post up some charts because I do need to update and uh, uh, give the certainly the premium members some guidance here today. Um, big uh, big thank you to Alex for uh, for keeping us well updated on the market movements there. Um, Smiles J on Comp and Balancer. I apologize that I couldn't get to that today. Rhino TD for Reserve Rights and uh, Uzerish X for Melon. I apologize, guys. Uh, we'll keep those on there and hopefully we'll get an opportunity to look at them later. I can do a pre-record. And we've got um, mm, mm, mm. Uh, Wook Chewy says just twenty five thousand, not that much money in Coinbase standards. What are you sorry for? You're good, baby. Jordan Stotts, you send that address, I will send you some tomato seeds, my brother. Yep, he got Al Capone now. <laughs> Silent says, I don't like to brag. But today, I plugged in a USB 2.0 plug in the right way on the first time. Didn't even look. Uh, I will say, uh, Ben told me this, but you guys might not know this, but USB 2.0s are in the super position, right? When you go to plug them in, they move into a super position of the, you know, of both being right side up and right side down simultaneously. And it is only until... You try one way, the other way, and both don't work, and then look at it, right? That is, that's when Schrodinger's cat, uh, you know, dies. Uh, that's how it works, guys. <laughs> uh, he has no other superpowers. ETH down in the next few hours, uh, I would I would not. Uh, know that. All right, guys, uh, I gotta get going. Uh, let's slide over here for the uh, for the uh, bye byes. Yes, we're gonna go, baby. All right, guys, thank you so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're gonna go swimming, yeah, because there's a hot tub in the pool there. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me for another episode of. Br oh my, am I being like covered up by that? <laughs> 
Thank you guys so much for joining me for another episode of Breaking Bitcoin. Uh, thank you so much for bearing with me while we're on the road. Uh, and they're a little low quality, a little low budget, but certainly just trying to keep you guys updated and letting you guys know what I'm doing. Again, what I'm largely doing is just relaxing and just um, uh, safeguarding my money. So uh, we will keep you well informed to the best of our ability, and we will be back tomorrow for another episode of Breaking Bitcoin, guys. Make sure to uh, join us in the Discord if you're not already. It's the best place to keep up to date. And... Uh, trade and learn with other like-minded individuals as well. If you're interested in improving your skills as a trader, of course, check out everything that we do at premium.crackencryptocurrency.com. You guys be safe. Be awesome. I'll see you tomorrow. Trade safely, guys.